Summer Sizzle Nation. Another beautiful day here in South Florida. We are catching bait this morning. In the summertime, you gotta come out here early. We're catching an assortment and a, a huge variety of baits this morning. It's awesome. Nice job on the bait this morning, Dr. Sizzle. You guys didn't get to see it a lot because it was dark for most of the time. Uh, and I can't film in the dark too sweet, so that's that. But yep. if you're new to the channel, I'm Brian, Darcy and I, your boyfriend, girlfriend, and we love to go fishing, and we love to make these videos for you. And it's Shark Week, and today we're trying to actually catch a small black tip and eat it. Uh, I know that sounds terrible to you shark lovers, but many, many sharks are completely legal and uh, able to keep them and eat them, and they're delicious. So we're gonna, you know, it's all within the regulation, so that's what we're trying to do today. Um, it's not really season for them, but it is Shark Week season, so that's why we're trying to do that. Yep. Uh, along the way, we're going to catch some other fish and uh, have a great time out here. So let's uh, really see what we get into. I think we're going to get some bonitas for bait. Sizzle, right? Yeah, I uh, just cut off my sabiki, but I was using a tsunami size 6 sabiki. And you know you had a good day of bait fishing when all your little tiny hooks are missing from bigger fish. So we have loaded up the live well with literally five different kinds of live baits. <laughs> So the, all the, the uh, bonitas and other fish out there should slurp them right up. Should be awesome, but we're gonna roll out there. And like you said, we're gonna hook up on a couple bonitas and hope the sharks don't get them first. Right, and uh, yeah, she caught a ton of bait. You guys know she loves to catch bait. That's what I mentioned. You know, we just went to a bait spot and we just looked on our new Lowrance uh, depth finder and you can see the bait marking just like this. And then you throw your sabiki out there and hopefully you catch them. So, uh, you know, a little bit of water time and, and you'll be doing great too. But uh, let's go get some big fish. Trying to get rigged up out here, and as soon as you put baits out, fish on. So we got a couple other lines out, trying to get them up before sharks get them this time of the year. The sharks are so bad, and the sharks I'm talking about are reef sharks, big bull sharks, sandbar sharks. They're sharks that we can't keep and we can't eat. We're looking for something much smaller, like a black tip. So I'm just trying to get this guy in. Here it comes. Get out of the water and flip him in. Woo! in the boat. That's Bonita number one. We are getting, uh, let's probably get a couple more for chum for the sharks. That worked the other day very well. And uh, my circle hook just got in the corner of the mouth. So let's take it out, pop it out, and catch another one. Now I know this hook. Second fish on. Gotta catch him in. Yeah, <laughs> gotta catch him before the sharks do. And today is the start of uh, mini season for lobstering. So you guys might notice a lot of extra boats today in our video, but we are just trying to work around everybody that's diving for lobster here. It's not really a good snorkel area, it's a diving spot. Uh. Oh, yeah. I swear, man, you come out here every day during the summer and you catch like 10 bonitas a day, you are like gonna be in shape. Like, they fight, gosh. Mutton. No. Mutton. Is that a keeper? Pretty close. Oh my gosh, he's so close. He's very close, probably not. Had a feeling that these guys were definitely biting. I wanted to drop down a bait down to the bottom. So just to see, I need to get my bubble blade pliers. But this is a mutton snapper, and with the full moon approaching, they should be spawning. So I had a feeling that they would be biting today, and I would like to, that's why I tried. So that's a nice sign. I'm gonna pop them off here. Going to use the ruler on my grizzly cooler here. Just check. 17. That's Not a keeper, going home. Watch your back. Woohoo! Woo. Oh my god, this thing's tough. Woo! Right to the back. <sighs> bloody as heck. Grab him, Sizzle, your hands. Right to the back. I'm bringing a bicycle and grab him still. Jeez Louise. They fight really hard. You Thank gotta God. rip those things in. 
Thank God for, thank God for sizzle, guys. Oh. Gotta rip those things in. I think I need to come out for um, some mutton tomorrow. But right now, we're gonna go after some sharks. Oh. Just got out here and set up for shark fishing, very close to the beach. We are in about five feet of water. We've set out our baits already. We got two shark baits out with a slab of bonita. And I just reeling on my bait to check this one because it just got a bite. Something weird was happening. What? How is this possible right now? I think we got the world's smallest fish on the world's biggest shark bait. That is a bite-sized blue runner that got hooked <laughs> on a monster shark circle hook. I what? don't even know how that's possible. I don't never, it's what impossible. the heck is that? What? It almost looks like we rigged him, but I swear guys, like we did not catch this fish this morning, but he's now our bait. So he was chomping on this shark bait and I can't believe he got hooked. That is wild. You crazy fishy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? That kuda just went 20 foot in the air. No joke. I like look up and I'm like flying fish going by. I think he might have jumped off, but that, that was a kuda that just ate our shark bait. That's a good sign. We got fish moving in on our chum. So it's just a matter of time until we got the sharks in, but I think he's, he's off. I'm not sure what was happening with that. My bait seems to be okay. Barracudas have crazy mouths, but you guys can see that we have a chunk of bonita on here. The white part of the bonita is actually the toughest skin right here, so that's why we wanted to insert the hook on the skin side and then have it out on the soft side, so that way when it, the fish does take it, um, we're not gonna run the risk of it rehooking on the, the tough skin side, but we got it on the, the soft meat side. So that's what we're using. We got one up basically on, on top with the balloon, and then we got one on the bottom. So depending on what the sharks want, with 200 pound mono attached on there because the, the uh, sharks are also leader shy. And because it's so clear here, we don't wanna use wire either. So sharks just don't like wire. So we're gonna stick with the mono and we just got that little blue runner bite. <laughs> and then we just saw that cuda. So maybe something good will happen here in the next few minutes. I'm excited. Got him! <laughs> That's called murkin' bait. Murdering them. <laughs> Ton of bait. Oh my gosh. Now, if we could just find what we're looking for are our sharks. But these are going to work great for live chummers. We got goggle eyes, baby gogs, and pilchards in that mix. So that is awesome. You know what fishermen tell you? You can never have enough bait. So get as much as you possibly can. Had another opportunity today and load it up. Yeah, now we just need some good fish sizzle. And I know a lot of some of you guys have commented in uh, previous videos in the last couple weeks that you noticed that I've been catching bait on sabikis versus the cast net, and it just depends on the time of year and what's around, and if the cast net is actually like going to help me catch more fish. And a lot of times when we're at the pier, it's a little deep over there, so it's not good for my cast net. But the cast net that I use today, because they're so thick on the beach, is my eight-foot barracuda cast net. Best cast nets on the market. I love them. This is their clear one. Um, and I also have a blue colored one and they can dye it to whatever color you want. If you like Rasta, Patriotic, it's so cool. So check out Barracuda Cast Nets. I will link them down in the description below for you guys. Jack. Okay guys, we have moved in shore. We were not having any luck catching sharks offshore, so we don't want to beat our head against the wall. So we have all this bait that I now have in the well. We have blacked out well. And we decided to go ahead and pitch the docks and the structure here. Um, that is pretty frayed on that, that dock, so just be careful. And um, there we go. Nice. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she has awesome hair. I just realized she has big pink hair. Um, so yeah, so just pitch the docks. Nice little pilcher that I had caught in the, um, in my, whoa, you almost went overboard. Nice little pilchers that we were catching over there in my cast net. I can grab them. So I'm using a number, a 4-0 Mustad circle hook to match the size of my bait because my pilchards aren't the biggest pilchards in the world. But they're perfect size candy for jacks like this, uh, snook, maybe some tarpon, anything that wants to eat it. Ladyfish maybe, but this guy is going home. There's a big snook right here. Hold 
What? I was on his head. Cast it on his head. He just moved off of it. He's following it. He's following it. Switching it up, we moved to a different area, and I've got my live pilchard on, and you can see that I hooked him through the peck fins, and that should help him to swim down and swim to where the fish are hanging out. So you can see all the shadow lines over here that we're fishing on the structure, and as the fish like to hang out in the shadow line area, which is an ambush point for them. So anything around like the pilings on the inside, the actual shadows, throw your bait up in there and see what happens. But my bait just swam out of there, so I'm gonna recast him. But you'll just do this over and over again until you catch a fish, and when your bait dies, change your bait, and just keep at it, don't give up. Oh, he's getting eight. Eat him! Somebody's playing with it. Something have it already? I guess something ate it already. Yes, what do we got? Aha, that's what happened. I was wondering what happened over there. I kept feeling like a strong pull and I thought that was the bait fish, but that's a little teeny tiny mangrove snapper. They live in here. Juveniles live in intercoastal. Sometimes you can find some keepers. A lot of lanes, juvenile mangroves, juvenile mutton snappers. So, just gonna use this de hooker and flip them off. So, the de hooker comes up like that. You can see he's barely hooked, and I'm just gonna do one twit. Oh, he just released himself. Perfect. But usually, I'll flip him over and he'll come, he'll come off. Um, and then you guys can check out my Amazon store. You guys can check out my Amazon store for all the great fishing products I like to use and uh, if you buy anything you can you'll give me you'll actually support the channel for free and I'll get a couple bucks if you buy something from my Amazon store so check it out Maybe not. Real. got him of course my battery died on my on my GoPro let me get that hook set for you guys we got a snook we got a snook Woo. dock for a while, this dock in particular, and every single span my bait gets super, super nervous. Actually, look how he got hooked, crazy, right in the top of the lip there. But Circle Hook did his job, perfect. Beautiful little snook, or nice size snook actually, he's not a baby, but he's gonna get, grow big one day. He didn't fight very long, but that's a beautiful snook. And I just caught him on a live pilcher. You guys, if you've been watching the videos lately, I've been doing quite a lot of snook fishing and it's not season for them. So we have to release all of them, but it's still an awesome game, uh, you know, a game fish that we love to catch here in Florida. So he's ready. Let's go. He's off back to his dock. And I just want to say the Darcy comes through again. If you saw yesterday's video, I said, Darcy, you gotta save this video with another snook. And man, Stroke a fish. Thanks. <laughs> Slaying them. I mean, it's two o'clock in the afternoon on a full moon, guys. Literally, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's, it's like you should. It it's 100 degrees out. It's tough as it gets. It's tough Even as it gets. Even though we couldn't get our target species. But, you know, that's why it's fishing. Like, you never know what's going to go on out here. And half the time, you don't really always get what you hope for. But, you know, we're still catching fish and having fun. And I can't complain with the beautiful snook. We're fishing. We're living our dream and hopefully inspiring you guys to get out here and just go fishing. Exactly. Exactly. We're hopefully inspiring you guys to do the same. So if we've inspired you, comment below. I want to hear. You want to hear? want to hear. But seriously, it's also not black tip season, so. No, we're crazy. You're crazy. That's your idea. We caught plenty of little baby black tips this year during the winter, and I said <laughs> time and time again, let's do a catch and cook. And Brian didn't want to. I was too scared you would yell at us, but we're going to eat them. All right, let's get to another fish. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, 
All right, we're finally home. Finally home. Another great day in the water. Yes, we just had a run in from a rainstorm, which is past us now, but now it rained at the house and it's honestly like sticky hot. Like oh, it's, hot. it's terrible Florida right now. Hot. We gotta get in the house. But yeah, awesome day in the water. We literally caught eight different kinds of baits. Maybe if you guys want a video on that, like I'll show you if you you're that? interested. So whoa. You had to have heard that. Oh, we gotta get so, inside. Go ahead and comment below if you're interested on like types of baits and all that good stuff. If you are, because I like that stuff. But um, yeah, it was a good day. Caught a snook and no shark, but that's why it's called fishing and not catching. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on when our new videos are posted. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Catchy, catchy, catchy. Babe. Totally got me. You're barbed? Yeah. Is it in you? No, I'll pop it right out. Oh, gosh, babe. It hurts. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, those things sting.